Hello everyone, today's tutorial is uh, focused on creating a Maven based job in Jenkins. So for that, let's go through our uh, requirements. That is, uh, requirement is Java installation and uh, Maven. Okay. So uh, let's uh, go to the global uh, for, create, uh, for creating a Maven based project. Uh, let's go to the global uh, configuration tool section uh, and verify whether uh, Maven installation is there, Java installation is there. So here we go to Maven, sorry, Manage Jenkins and then global tool configuration. and we see here git is installed which is also required for our uh, project as we will download the code from git this is done manually uh, if you have gone through my previous tutorial you'll come to know more about this how we have configured this and is not required though we can see two versions of the and 1.10.1 1 and 1.7.0 these are the installations which I covered in the previous uh, tutorial while building the project through and as a build tool coming to the maven part here also we can see two versions of maven maven 3.1.1 and maven 2.1.0 which we have covered in the previous tutorial now java is remaining yeah so you can see java is also there installation we are using java 8 for the project so everything looks good let's create a new project new item just give any name for our tutorial i'll give this specific name tutorial maven get a third job so that we can come to know from the job what all things we are using maven is the build tool which we are using get is the uh, version control tool we are using as we already have the job let me delete it so that i can explain you much better and we can come to know okay so let's create this job give any name select the freestyle project click ok and our project or job is created now we need to configure the various sections for the job so here give the description of the job Uh, we are using git as the version control tool and maven as build tool for project demo go to the source code management part uh, ch uh, choose the radio button git here provide the repository url of the git from where we will download the code so if you have your own source code you can use that otherwise just you can just browse to my uh, URL here and just clone it from here. They'll just remember in Git we need to clone the repository URL. So here we have given the URL. Now we can select the credentials from here, which we I have uh, already created or the credentials in the previous tutorial. If you want, you can add from here also. Add Jenkins. Just provide the necessary details: username, password, and an ID from which you can you recognize like this user and password is associated with this ID and a small description about it and add it that's it this section I have uh, covered in previous tutorial so I am not uh, uh, I am not uh, doing it again here so after creating you will get an account like this uh, so this was created by me in previous tutorial uh, and I am with SQL1 yeah skip the section here let it be by default as master for more details on the this branches and all I'll explain later when I'll cover the git tutorial make the repository browser as auto or you can select any other option if you want which it will uh, go to the repository and uh, through, through those browsers browsing techniques or you can say tools you will, it will use 
it will use these tools to browse to the uh, repository now let's go to our build triggers we can have some scm or a schedule in which we can uh, start the build for now we are not considering those things let's go to the build section here we are using maven as the build tool so let's select the maven option mm, yeah invoke top level maven targets so as we have two versions of the maven so we will be having two versions listed here we can select any one so let's select uh, this one as uh, already in the previous section we created maven 2.1.0 and selected this one uh, that one now let's select the, this one so that we can see if it's working or not now goal goal is the section or uh, it's it's similar to the end target so in uh, maven uh, we have goals and phases so uh, which come uh, which tells the maven what to do or which life cycle phase to execute in the final uh, so that it can produce the final product so we will uh, provide the package as the phase which will create the jar for us just click on advance for our case we can see in the uh, once the checkout or the download of the code is done there is no form.xml here it is inside this number generator directory so we need to point uh, uh, to this uh, form.xml so that we can build it so as my um, project is having extra uh, folder that is once uh, that is we are checking uh, we are checking out or we are downloading code till this till this part and here we don't find any pounded xml so we need to do some advanced configurations so for that just uh, we will your yeah this is the pom section if you can see it will explain more uh, okay some there is some issue with jenkins it's not able to, with jenkins version it's not able to load this so we can just pass the the, the part uh, we can just pass the part till our founder document here so just give number generator and then form.xml form.xml is the basic unit which uh, maven recognizes to execute the xml file like in and we have build.xml so if you if you have your uh, if you have the pom xml in your uh, checkout area that is uh, it, it, uh, suppose like uh, we uh, suppose uh, this is the url we checked out and here we have the pom xml then there is no need to specify this uh, directory and then pom xml this is required only when in the checkout area directly we do not have pom xml that is it has some more subdirectories and uh, uh, we need to provide the part till that pom.xml to execute it as in our case we don't have that pom.xml directly in the checkout area so we have to point it till the path uh, of pom.xml and if you are having in the checkout area directly then there is no need to uh, specify it here also this is this is this can be blank and you can just save it but as we don't have our pom xml in the checkout area and we have a subdirectory inside which it resides so i will point it to that path and just save it so our project is configured let's try uh, building it so it has started building So we can see it is started as it in git command it is started downloading the code now the code which it downloads it comes in the workspace area so we can go to the project and this is your workspace area here the code will download it uh, like see we can see that uh, the number generator folder is downloaded it inside the form.xml and our source code is here so everything is download part of the git is complete here Okay, so uh, now we see maven has started building and it has uh, got the pomrod xml here and it has executed the package phase or goal here so first it has uh, maven has a life, a life cycle that is it has seven phases which we can learn more about in in the maven tutorial later so as of now we are just interested in our uh, um, uh, final product or output or uh, the artifact which you produce that is number generator we need this jar 
so let's see uh, as the build is success we see with blue wall let's see that it is generated uh, in the workspace go to num run uh, no, number generator and maven generates everything in the target folder so just go to target and we can see yes our jar is created so this is the jar which we needed so the, our tutorial uh, for maven job is complete here